Hi, I'm Vince Petrano. We begin with the rash of violence in the city of Milwaukee. Today, a 30-year-old woman in custody accused of stabbing a 24-year-old man to death. This happened at 13th and Locust about 8.30 this morning. Police call it a domestic violence incident. And the murder comes just hours after a 17-year-old girl was killed in a triple shooting on Milwaukee's northwest side. Two others hurt in that shooting in Hopkins and Hampton about 9 o'clock last night. Still don't know what started this whole dispute. There are no suspects in custody. And one day earlier, just 10 blocks away, three people were killed, 48th and Glendale. The medical examiner reporting it was 40-year-old Archie Brown Jr., who accidentally hit a two-year-old child who'd run into the street. When Brown got out of his car to help, somebody shot him and a 15-year-old boy to death. Authorities stay, say they have now identified a suspect, but are still looking for that person. Still don't know what caused an overnight house fire in Fond du Lac. Fire crews found heavy flames and smoke coming from the back of the home about 3.30 in the morning. A dog and cat did die in that fire, but all the people made it out okay. If you're looking for a job, Meyer stores are hiring. Two new Meyer stores will be opening in Oak Creek and Wauwatosa this summer. If you're interested, they're having informational sessions, two of them coming up. You can visit the Milwaukee Area Workforce Investment Board tomorrow from 3 until 4.30 or Thursday from 6 until 7.30. Well, ahead of his stunt at the Wisconsin State Fair, Daredevil Nick Walenda will show off his skills in Florida. Walenda plans to walk the outer rim of a 400-foot-tall observation wheel as it makes full rotations. He says it has been a challenge to train for this. This is something that there really isn't a way other than to get up there and walk on it to train for it. And there's really no way to hook in uh, in order to train. So it's when you see me get out there, it's going to be the first time that I've ever gotten out on that wheel um, and walked on it. Walenda will walk along that observation wheel at the end of the month. Tickets are still available for his high wire walk coming up at State Fair. That is set for August 11th. Hello again, everybody. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Scott Steele in the Weather Center. What a great day we've got across southeastern Wisconsin again and really much of the upper Midwest. In your weather headlines on this Tuesday, bright blue skies with the exception of just some thin cloudiness occasionally filtering the sunshine, especially central and south. Toasty temperatures persist, although it will turn a little cooler along the lake. Overall, it will be above average. And overall as well, we'll be arid ahead, meaning dry air without any significant storm systems affecting us in the days to come. Uh, going into the record books on this date, so far, 61 degrees, the high temperature at Milwaukee's Mitchell International with a very pleasant low of 42. The average is 53 and 37, so we were well above both of those. And the record set back in 2003. Many of us remember that 85 degree temperature, toasty, 22 degrees, the record low set back in 1928. Here's a look at some of the other neighborhood high temperatures across the area as of the moment. Generally in the low to mid 60s, 66 degrees. One of the peak temperatures in Whitewater, 62 in Watertown. Again, a lake breeze kicking in and only 52 degrees so far in Port Washington. Uh, here's future forecast, our computer model, and really high pressure in control of our conditions and for hundreds of miles around us. So very stable air, sinking air in place, no significant disturbances for hundreds of miles. As we set this in motion, the next disturbance approaches us from the west. As we go toward tomorrow night, it'll lead to an increase in clouds and perhaps heading Wednesday night into Thursday morning, perhaps Perhaps just a couple of raindrops, but not a big deal. I think Thursday is actually going to turn out to be quite pleasant. Uh, a close in view of future forecast, our computer model in southeastern Wisconsin showing an abundance of stars tonight, clear skies, and heading into the day tomorrow. I think we start with plenty of sunshine. Eventually, though, uh, on winds shifting, we'll see an increase in clouds ahead of that next disturbance. But Wednesday night, just a few sprinkles into Thursday morning, and then we'll already start to clear out by Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. Traveling around the Badger State tomorrow, no problems whatsoever. Again, north, central, and south, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, and temperatures reaching the middle 60s. So your storm team forecast for the balance of this Tuesday. Mostly sunny and warm up to near 62, turning cooler along the lake. For tonight, we'll drop on down to 38 with mainly clear skies. And for tomorrow on our midweek Wednesday, mostly sunny to partly cloudy, breezy, seasonally warm up to near 58. Here comes your Storm Team Force seven day forecast and get ready for improving conditions again toward the end of the week. Friday looks like we'll see a high of 64 degrees with plenty of sunshine. Saturday and Sunday looking great as well with temperatures at or above where we should be, dry conditions and plenty of sun, two great weekends in a row.